to Alistair Cook. Yes, with the retirement of Sean Pollock, uh, Shane Bond has moved number one. Both sides. Edged away, and that'll go fine, and that'll be the first boundary. So a bit of luck for Mustard. And Asseverat get, gets it right with the uh, signal. It's certainly uh, a good left-hander will be able to use that the width, the angle provides. Oh, that's a beauty. This left-hander's used the inside edge, has he? Yes, he has, and he's picked up four to finish the over. And it's 27 for no wicket. more than anything and New Zealand have the wicket they've been after they've bowled absolutely beautifully fantastic delivery from Martin you can just see the length again they talk about hitting the top of waffle this is the top of the leg maybe a little bit of pad in there as well right he got it he got it it wasn't that short but he got it away a couple of ounces then into the rope start for the Black Caps. Making the pace off the ball. Chop off from Bell. He'll be feeling disappointed about that. He's been aggressive. Oh, he's got it. Wide of the crease, Jacob Horan. Inside edge from Peterson. And that's a big wicket. Well, angling back at the right-handed Peterson. Was there an inside edge? There certainly was. We've seen plenty of that today. Drag-ons. Perhaps it's a suggests that the pitch is a little bit too paced but the New Zealand bowlers sometimes you have to change there's a nick and it's gone through the gap they've left the gap between McCullum and Styrus Collingwood's found it a little bit of bounce for Warham it's 65 for three turn hit the outside of off stump but one thing you can't do on this pitch is hit through the line well, the telestrator not working today good stroke that is a mighty blow the best shot of the day so far it's taken 25 overs and it's the away shah that shows his stripes here show up the numbers a little but in fact uh, there's quite good numbers oh he's gonna be a runner here surely shah went all the way down and then all the way back in his mouth at the moment as we go upstairs to Billy Bowden. It's a horrible mix-up, an unnecessary mix-up. Early dive, he's just run out of steam and he's gone. Ah, oh, the captain's gone, the man that needed to bat. The majority of this innings, the man with the skills to do it has been run out in a dreadful mix-up. This will confirm it. Yeah, it's out. chance and it's gone Peter Fulton two meter Peter out there on the boundary at square leg short from Styrus runs here for Swamp maybe a much needed boundary yes it is Ross Taylor of course it just uh, just died a little too early <laughs> Just a superb fielding continues from New Zealand. I think this is out. It's out. Uh, it's fantastic fielding from the New Zealanders. This time it's Jamie Howe. Swan. Tories uh, moving nicely through his spell now. Seventh over. Could be another run out. Oh, I think they've got him. And this time it's away Shah. Upstairs, says Gary Baxter. The running has been awful from England. They've been watching the ball. It's not even close. But the field has been excellent, but the running has been very, very poor. Stuart Broad. This time, he gets one away. Ja Jacob Orm just gave him a sniff there, and he took it. Oh, that might have been put down. Yeah, a little edge here, I think. Perhaps not quite staying down with it. Catch. Oh, that one will be out, though. That's too easy. Daddy. Oh, that's out. That is out everywhere. Patel. Patel was screaming for LBW. Baxter.
stand to say you actually bowled him. Good bit of bowling, it was quicker. It did cannon off the pads. Good appeal, would have been out anyway, but it's just clipped the outside of off stump. Gene Patel's appealing, and uh, he finally realises that perhaps he was bowled. Jesse Ryder on strike. He's got uh, enough on this to pick up the first boundary. And the good thing about the stroke was that he went with the swing. Oh, good stroke. Mighty blow. This time he went with a swing as well. They're really playing quite intelligently here. Evans above. On debut in a one-day international, Ryder looks like he's been playing 100 matches already. Inventive play from Jesse Ryder. Will he get a boundary? Yes, he does. After eight overs, New Zealand 37 without loss. There's a plan. Stand and deliver. How oh, far back? Way, way back. Six pennyworth of the best. Good control. Beautiful shot. Terrific control. Out into the deep. Gone! Deep mid wicket rider. One too many. Looks as if it was going all the way. It's subfield to Luke Wright. It's work for England. Yeah, Ryder, I feel backing himself that if he does hit it well enough, he'll hit it all the way here at the Westpac Stadium. He's been outthought here by the Englishman. Good piece of field placement is the key there, and Ryder fell into the trap. Over the top. Challenge is there. It's over the top for four. He's going to continue playing his natural game here. New Zealand 66 for one. He won't be dismissed this time, that's four runs. Short. And put away. A little, little. A big appeal of glove, yeah. I thought so. Stuart Broad was confident. And Cullum didn't look too interested. Yeah, the decision, the hands were well away from the body. Well, maybe not as far away from the body as you thought. The English players were certainly confident. I always feel unlucky if you're disappointed as a batsman walking off down league side. But once again, Brawl was able to create some pressure. Cut! Good stroke. Well, that was a bit quicker from Collingwood. He whacked it in, and every time he has tried to whack it in, it hasn't worked. And Jamie Howe climbed all over that. Oh, good stroke. That's how good a puller he can be. That wasn't that short. Just a little uh, weight shift and he was able to punch it away well one-handed it doesn't matter still followed through and he was able to get enough on it 10 from the over 105 for two oh heavens above that's gone off. 25 rows back Taylor's signature shot it was always going to come at some stage. That's a ripper. Oh, cracking stroke. And that is a ripper. Look, you don't hold it short to Jamie Howe on this mood. Edge this time. Nice bowling. Yeah, outside edge. That was a good bit of line of length from Ryan's side bottom. Disappointed. He didn't see his team over the line. Better length from side bottom, getting how coming forward, playing away from his body. Good stroke. Oh, that's time. That shows that this is not a bad pitch at all. It's a good pitch. Hit. And he's going to be caught. Yeah, Styrus has gone for a duck. And that'll be just a small little psychological battle that England will have loved to have won. So maybe it doesn't matter. Yeah, got big on him. Extra bounce, tennis ball bounce, and just in the fingertips of Ryan Sidebottom. Takes a good low catch. Doesn't matter how you get it. Off the bottom of the bat, Taylor. 
has got the winning run for New Zealand and they have wrapped up the first of five. That is a big win, believe me. There's a lot of soul searching done.